What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Very, very happy to be here. A good friend of the channel, Jamie, told, um, well, one, sponsored this video. So thank you so much to all of you who have been sending tips and donations our way. I mean, with these requests, thank you so much. It helps so much. I am, I feel like the luckiest man in the world. Thank you. We got to check out the two of the dudes from Home Free uh, singing opera, Nessun Dorma. Maybe we're, we'll do a little series comparing people's uh, people's versions of this, but let's see what these dudes got here. Let's roll it. Thank you guys so much. So it's a dude that looks like my brother-in-law with... Okay. Nice. your breath away doesn't it all right so this guy's austin brown so austin fantastic voice but it's rob lundquist that really hit what for me wow what's awesome is that they're of course classically trained right and i just love how then they created this acapella group and sang the music they like the country right but let's see how good they they are and, and they're exhibitioning that for us and wow it's breathtaking I mean, you can't help but grow up not hearing that song being sung by, I don't know who. I just remember it playing in the car at some points when I was a kid. I've never known what, what the heck does this song mean, actually? Stick around. We're going to talk about the song itself. Like, I've actually never paid attention to the words. Would love to hear your comments, so stick around. Let's keep listening to homies just freaking crush this. My brother in law, bro. gosh dude again bro when the chills go up your face and your head it feels so good because it's so beautiful dude they freaking crushed that dude there's nothing to say so this is a uh puccini of course okay i've heard i know that puccini is a uh, he's big time yeah it's an aria tucked away in the last act of his opera Turin dot picture the scene our hero calaf is one of the three suitors for the delightfully picky princess Turin dot sorry i'm butchering these names as a weird set of challenge, uh, Calaf says that if Turandot can correctly guess his name, she may execute him, but if she can't, then she must marry him. Well, this is a dark wager. In a whimsically sociopathic move, the princess decides that none shall sleep, 
which is the literal, tra literal translation of Nesun Dorma, in the entire kingdom until Caliph's name is discovered. What the heck is up with this story? So at the end, that final note was is just like freaking, honestly, kind of overwhelming. <laughs> it, he, he's saying Vincero, which means I will win. So does he win? Does the dude die? Hey, opera's weird, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's a weird story. I'm trying to see like what, uh, metaphorically, what the frick it's all about. But beautiful. Yeah, bro. They crushed it. Austin Brown, Rob Lundquist. Unbelievable. Excited to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you so much for being here. Till the next one, guys. Wow.